way as soon as this completes, guys. Yeah, and I mean, we got a hell of a top eight from LA coming up for you guys. And of course, on the mic for that will be Tovin Armada. Yes, I'm actually, great. I'm super excited Anytime for that. Anytime you get uh, someone with the intellect of Armada on oh, the mic. Oh, he's so smart. It's, it's a blessing, it really is. We certainly appreciate when our, our high level players who are good at articulating hop on the mic. Oh yeah, for sure. Go down, Tope is a, and Tope is a homie too, so. Good Man. stuff to come for you guys, but good stuff for this Losers Finals as well. Elegant looking to take it over right or right now. Man, we have two death. Japanese players. Oh my goodness, <laughs> but how about two stocks for Raito? You called that zero to death. He delivered it on cue, man. What you out here doing? You like uh, an Uber Eats right now, bro. <laughs> phone it in. Phone hey, it man, in. He, he took, he took Raito straight to Smash 4, man. Where are your stock oh, count man, at, bro? bro where'd it go? <laughs> for glory out here, he's he rocking too. <laughs> finish that stock before I finish my sentence. It's crazy <laughs> when that happens, bro, but it's all too common at high level play like this. Elegant literally did the Smash 4. He started. Like, right from go, Elegant ran up to him and just grabbed him. And there goes the second stock. Yes. Elegant is riding this momentum off the win in Sue in loser semis, man. man. This man is just coming through. No, not like again. Straight Are you up dead? Buzz saw. Oh, no, my you're, goodness. You're not dead. You just took 70, though. You did, you did. Make it 95. Is this going to be a three stock? Dude, Elegant. Are we going to get the three Ele stock? Elegant. Oh, <laughs> Elegant, please. My lord. He is just destroying him. Three stalking the man who just three owed him. Good God almighty, man. Bob Barker would be proud. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Well, he just lost both of his nuts on that one. Lord have mercy. Was that even legal? I don't know. If it is, don't cut the stream right now, man. Jeez, man. Where are they on? Lord have mercy. Elegant was robbing him on that first stock, too. Just that straight zero to death, man. That like, was nasty. He got so much grabs. It did so much damage. It really just overwhelmed Raito, man. Ellen came up with the pistol and was like, hands up. He wasn't playing games, Korean. And that's what, and that's what you, honestly, you expect to see Elegant perform at that high level, but maybe not in such a, a manner against someone like Raito. Yeah, and I, I'm so happy, like, this is very reminiscent of Smash 4 Elegant. It's like, was that even a minute? That wasn't a minute. Listen, like, last time something went do down do in a minute, that? my girlfriend complained, so I'm not even going to get into that, okay? <laughs> but it was very, very quick. It was very quick, and if I'm right, oh, this is very bad. This is very, very bad. You've got to respond in game number two. You got to give me something, man. Something. I'm going to keep it a buck right now, <laughs> you, you really gooning, man. <laughs> well, it's a mango, man. We're uh, having a good time. I love it. Celebrating good smash. Talent and fun all around, and oh, yeah. certainly hope you guys are enjoying what we're bringing to the table and right now. You know what? That, that's the one thing I love the most about the Mango that yeah. makes it such a unique tournament. Like, you're, it's really about just coming out here and just having a hell of a time, yes, man. Sir. And I mean, we're we're doing that right now, and you, the viewers, man, oh, you guys sure, are seeing man. hell of a matches right now. Shout out to all you guys in the Twitch chat. Shout out to Raito getting that first stock off. So already guaranteeing we will not see another three stock. Quick right. retaliation. Yeah. Guaranteed. Right, I was like, all right, everybody, calm down. <laughs> I'm not gonna get bodied like that. Not twice at all. In a row. It ain't going down like that. Because remember, remember, Elegant did start off that game with straight up run up, grab, zero to death. Like that's how that started off. So firm. So I, I like it that Raito slowing things down a little bit, breaking up Elegant's momentum. That is definitely something you have to be very aware of when challenging players like Elegant. When Elegant's feeling himself, it's a very dangerous world. And ooh, man, you got crossed up on that DI though. Straight up, man. And that's actually terrific for Elegant. I mean, you think of how this set started. He's not down by any, any means. He can't go ahead and mount that comeback. Yeah, Elegant taking quite a bit of damage to second stock. Ooh, try to get the roll in. And Raito does get it with that up tilt. Elegant looking for this grab, tries to get set it up with the Zare. I like that Elegant's using the Zare against the can too. That's like something kind of like we saw that the Mega Man pellets from Kamehameha was doing. Something mid-range, projectile-y, yeah. that you can kind of defuse that can pressure. There's the air dodge. No, doesn't get it covered though. Oof. Oh, oh there's a the tough feat thus far. Oh, and barely missing that. Confirming. Oh, but the down V. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, man. Just get yourself out of trouble. Oh my goodness, but Raido, the pressure remaining the same. Uh oh. He's still stuck. Oh, he pulled himself out in time. Oh, there's the down B. Almost taking Raito off the top there, but Raito gonna return the favor and get that stock up air. We'll seal it out. Raito with a pretty commanding lead here, this game number two. Oh, but where, here's the grab into the up B. Nope, just gonna go for the backer for damage. Set up this offstage situation. 
Are we gonna get the dare though? No, the can coverage. He had to parry that. Oh, going so super deep. deep. And we've what? seen we've seen that pan out so many times when he just elects to go low. But that interaction killed him off the top. Yeah, and that wow. That was, what? It had to have been the uppy, right? It had to have been like the sweet spot uppy. In, in the air. <laughs> but I mean, if you're elegant, you're like, yeah, but <laughs> you're satisfied. Either way, man, you know opportunities knock if you answer that door. Yeah, but the shield is looking so low. Elegant trying to run up, shield all these different projectiles. The gunman, the can, but his shield can only take so much beating. And Raido still at 0% right yes. now. Elegant cannot get in. Okay, here's the roll, but the can even bouncing backwards too. Raido just having so much control of all these tools. It's almost nutty. doing it seamlessly. All right, another good response though from Elegant. Got to be so careful here. Yeah, one mistake was going to spell certain disaster and Raido evening things up despite absolutely being bulldozed in that first game. Yeah, man, and, and the resilience yeah. to come back from a body bag like that. Let me tell you guys, getting three socked doesn't feel good. Getting three socked in bracket doesn't feel good, and getting three socked on stream does not feel good. So Basically, the fact that, it don't feel good. Yeah, it's just it's not good. But Raido got three socked completely destroyed in like a very swift manner and he was able to just collect himself he, I know or he knows what he had to do to win brought it to the table and very solid victory that game number two right. definitely didn't let it get to him no doubt about it so off we are to our second game Raido evening things up in that last one okay there's the clay pigeon once again setting up shop man you can even like Hit the gunman when they're already down. Yeah. Hitting them when they're down already, man. That ain't cool. Well, if you can beat a uh, horse when it's dead, why can't you just beat a man when he's on his head? It is. Oh, yeah. It really do be like that. Oh, oh that was nice. combo coming And, and it's right. easy, right? It's just so easy for Ryder. Like, it's just bread and butter. Does it on the daily. Call him the Doom Missiles, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Say it again. Because <laughs> that can looking like a crisp assist right now, dude. Hey, oh, oof, the fair. Not going to connect. Maybe Elegant wanted to full hop that. Shout out to the new short hop mechanic that everybody loves. <laughs> <laughs> I love your sarcasm. <laughs> it's just so out there. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> we talk about that buffer system fight. <laughs> Yo, that buffer system is hype though. <laughs> You're OD Korean. You ever want to hold a button? <laughs> <laughs> no lies being told right now on this top eight, man. And certainly no disappointment. We have whittled it down to our final three competitors. One of these guys looking to take it to Kamehame in grand finals, but still a long way to go. Man, how long the can get suspended in the air? I just feel like Elegant, it, it even more so, just makes it harder to approach to the air when the can is just taking up so much right, room. Right, exactly. It just kind of hovers there, you know Yeah, I mean? like when like, he initially brings it out, like it's so hard to deal with. Very difficult. Now it's right by the ledge. Are you going to get off this ledge, my man? Okay, normal get up. Roll past the gunman, but the can is right there to meet you. Like, it is. It's, it's, it's really just so tough for Elegant. That's why, like, that game number one, he it felt like he got in three times. But, like, every time he got in, he got the stock. He got in three times, and he didn't let it go to waste. That was what just set him so far ahead. 164 for Elegant. Can he survive another hit? Yes, he can. This stock, not relenting, but finally it has to fall. Elegant trying Tremendous to dip. Tremendous effort. Weave, trying to dip, weave, and dive, man. But the, the gunman, the can, over and over and over, finally. But Elegant to return the favor with that up smash off the top, using the armor. But the frame one can gonna bail him out of that zero to death. That it did. Very clutch for Raido because uh, that was not fun for him to deal with. There's a cyclone though. Trying to get that follow up off the can. Trying to catch this landing and resets back to neutral. And now Raido has all the room to work with once again. Exactly what he's looking for. Oof. Elegant trying to pull the trigger there. But, oh, he's got to avoid the can. He's a, oh man. He, Good awareness. He yes. reacted very quick. He knew he had to up you again. Some people would have been deer in the headlights in that situation. Yeah, you might have just kind of plummeted to your death. Like, damn, you know, how do I let that happen? But no, good eyes, wherewithal from Elegant to keep himself alive. And he's still in a very good situation. Yeah, and, you know, it is hard to connect that tether grab for Elegant, but I like that he's trying to set up parry situations. You know, parry, uh, definitely a very hard mechanic. Um, you just got to have really good timing. But uh, the fact that he's trying to do that and go into the grab, that's really, really smart. Right. And I mean, it might be his only hope, honestly, because <laughs> it's like it's just so hard for him just to get the grab regularly. Yo, the plunger though? Finally, I mean, we see him going for that all the time. Very seldom he doesn't connect, but sometimes it's just that one. Oh That's my! It, yeah. That kills? I mean, that per look at that percent though. I yeah, mean, to be fair, like 
you're asking for a lot for him to survive that elegant, though. Flashbacks to Smash 4 with that confirm off the grab. The crowd going wild. They want this uh, victory here for Elegant. There's the grab. They do. The Ele oh, wait. Oh, the repping. Yeah, you know what's crazy? That can actually prevented the zero to death because of where it was positioned. Ooh, he oh, he went deep. Yeah, he wanted that. I don't blame you, son. You get, like you said, you got to make it count when you get in with Luigi, man. Show off and show out. That's what Elegant's whole style is about. Who's going to take this game at number three? Oh, catches the roll into the upbeat. No, the downbeat off the top. Great DI coming out from Raito. Oh, oh the can just diffusing that pressure, giving Elegant another obstacle to run through. And here comes Raito setting up shop, the clay pigeon and everything. Yeah, that's when it gets real scary when you're, you're not in a position to kind of disarm Raito. He's able to just zone you out. He has all the, all the time in the world right now, all the pressure. Yeah, they're still going to lend itself for him to possibly make this comeback. What? No, what? Are you kidding? The snitch dash actually getting the job. Now, if he had ran to tell me that was going to kill, I'd have called you a liar. Exactly, man. The, the snitch run into the dash attack, man. <laughs> Cannot believe what we just saw. Some snitch the eye, though. Man, yeah, seriously, man. <laughs> I'm telling Sakura. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Elegant one game away. Man. From keeping SoCal in this top eight and advancing the grand finals, the pressure truly now falling on the shoulders of Raito. Yeah, Elegant is giving it his all, man. You can tell just how uh, physically exhausting he's getting. He's got to shake it up. He's got to pump himself up. This man 3-0'd him. Raito 3-0'd this man in winner semis. So the fact that Elegant is now up on him 2-1 really goes to show how quickly Elegant is adapting. And I, I think he realized just like, you know, Elegant's really good at being clutch, so it's just like, okay, I might not get in often, but like when I do, I, I just really have to clutch it. I have to like really show forth my biggest strength. This is true. Oh. Oh. Okay, there's the Cyclone. Now, Elegant taking a good amount of damage, but right now, Ooh, oh, wow, the, oh, okay. the can yeah. reversal. You gotta be so careful there. Does he have the double jump? Yes, he does. Oh, right, almost catching that roll. Uppy, oh, so close. That would have been gnarly if he was able to connect it, but not quite. Yeah, around that like 50 to 70-ish, you can usually set up that down throw into the sweet spot. Very, very hard. You got to be very accurate, but still very plausible. And that's just, that's just things Elegant had to have labbed out, man. Cause there, of there's, course. Yeah, there's like, Lui Luigi got so much taken away. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, it's just like, look, you took everything from me. I have to rebuild from the ashes. Yeah, from the ground. What can man. I find in there? Will I perish? Like a like a like a thing that perishes? <laughs> like a fart in a fan factory? <laughs> Will I rise up like a phoenix? Be reborn and take it to this dog and his duck friend who won't leave me to hell alone. You're throwing all this shit at so me, man. Many like, questions. What the hell? Just <laughs> team it in a buck with you, man. <laughs> Ooh, go ahead, Elegant. I see you. Zero to 70 real quick, man. Tough. All right, there's it. Oh, wow. And that, that's something that Elegant's definitely utilizing a lot more. If the can's moving and you shield it, it'll just detonate the can. So if you get right up uh, duck, cl real close to Duck and just utilize that shield, so, so good. Big time backs and big time plays. Oh, no. Elegant and now Korean. One stock away from Grants. Does he have it in him? Wow, the crowd erupting for Elegant oh, right now. Seven. He predicted this. He predicted this match attack and yeah. knew the telegraph had the lane to punish. Yeah, and I mean that's the great thing about tether. You know, you don't have the 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 speed, but you got the length. Right. Oh man, but Raito just shutting the crowd right yeah. up with that back air. He just waited that tornado out. All right, Elegant's here. Last stock. It's where he needs Raito. He just needs to get in and make it count here. There's the can. It's in play. Oh wow! Rocking yeah. him right back with the Zare, though. Send it right back in his face. Oh, utilizing that shield. Here's the grab. Up B. No, just going for the up air. Ooh, try to get a Zare reset as well. Okay, I see you, Elegant. Get a little spicy up in here. I mean, hey, this is the last stock to get it done with. Why not be oh. a little spicy? Okay, pass the gunman. Okay, but the can is shield looking low. Ooh, the fireball actually go trading with the clay pigeon, but wait a minute. Uh -oh. Raito getting something started here. Yep. Can't get quite ahead of ourselves just yet. Raito still with a ton of fight in him. Oh, the ledge jump. Got to watch out for the can, too. Getting sandwiched between all these pressure tools. Ooh, oh, he just went man. over the fireball, too. He's like not even letting that be a factor. Oh, no. Now he's off stage. Raito going to get set up camp here. Oh, 
right, great positioning going right through that can. Oh, oh he did yes! Get it. The play! What? The pressure! The victory! Elegant. And SoCal still has some life in this bracket as Elegant makes it to Grands. The pop off well deserved. Man, Elegant is pumped. He popped off and then he popped off again. There it is. Man, Why the hell not? Just bringing it home for all the SoCal homies in the crowd, man. Hell Everyone man. just wanting to see the SoCal hero get through this bracket and he's he's made it all the way to this grand finals, but it's, he's in loser side. It's something to have a performance in a top eight like the Mango. Steven, Steven 